I shall, I shall employ all the artists in the land, and they shall all do portraits of me and my flowers. I think that they should do statues, many, many statues of me in all of my various shapes. My werewolf is particularly nice, I think. Since you are a werewolf and you have greater olfactory powers, do you consider perfume an art? I consider it an abomination. <laughs> Especially acts. <laughs> Sax, but I like the sound of it. <laughs> <laughs> Mallory Lane? My whole life is art. Of course I'll support the art in any way I can. I already dressed that. Weren't you listening? <laughs> I would employ everybody in the art industry, in the whole industry. Of course I would support art to the fullest. What do you consider art, Mallory Lane? Anything I like. <laughs> <laughs> And you, Lord Ruler, I've who heard, is no protector of anything? I've heard that great art comes through pain. <laughs> so I'll round up the artists and send them to war. I'll make sure that each of them loses at least one limb. <laughs> then I'll see what they create when they return, and it's sure to be excellent, because if great art comes through pain, then no one is better than I at delivering that pain. <laughs> and thus delivering that great art, Oh, yes, of course. I need to talk to you about some parts that I'm interested in, too. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Delete it quickly. <laughs> Bulldoze the uh, various hard drives, and then we will shoot them into the sun. The Lord Ruler shall find out about pain soon enough. <laughs> Are there other questions from the oligarchs? Yes, my, my palaces will be very spatial. <laughs> what will you do about the space program, Melody Lane? Put all the military on ships and send them there. <laughs> space that we have is enough. If there's not, if it is not, I will, I will rent and pillage and bay and make sure that there's more than enough space for all those beautiful werewolves who shall be left in the end of the day. Another question out there. Will marijuana remain legal? <laughs> Will hallucinogenic subjects, particularly marijuana, remain within the purview of the oligarchs? Was it ever illegal? <laughs> Werewolves are not affected by marijuana. So you would, that it smells bad. <laughs> so you would allow the non-werewolves to partake of this odious substance? What non-werewolves? <laughs> well, I've, I've found that a population is easier to dominate when their minds are fixated on other things. Therefore, I'll provide more and more and more of these things so that everyone, as I destroy them, can be happy. Because I am not without mercy. Common <laughs> people depend upon other things to make the people bow and scrape before them. I do not. <laughs> Inlandia has always been a great empire. The question I am going to pose to the candidates is what will you do for Inlandia's future? What will you create or leave for posterity? Lord Ruler. Well, being immortal and indestructible, and having rid, rid us of all the plucky underdogs who might change that fact, I will oversee this empire personally for millennia to make sure that all of your children are oppressed just like you were. <laughs> In short, you will leave yourself for posterity. Do yes, I understand yes. that correctly? Unlike others who have said they will grow tired and weary of dominating and controlling you, I will never weary of doing this job put upon me. I shall leave many, many beautiful werewolves, and since they will be my sons and daughters, they will all be dominant werewolves, and they are well able to take over when I get bored from this and go on about my merry way. So you let the empire go to the dogs. <laughs>
the oligarchs have another question. In the back. What about immigration? The immigration was addressed, I think, fairly punctually. Did any of the candidates wish to address it in greater detail? Send me your poor. You're weary, and I will eat it for lunch. <laughs> I will give them welfare. And I will let them build my palace. <laughs> Another question. Oh, sure. Haven't we executed you already? <laughs> I'm much more clever than you. <laughs> no, uh, I, I, my understanding, now correct me if I'm wrong, Ms. Seal, is that wearables going can't have more wearables, correct? Wearables can what? You are correct. Wearable awesome. women cannot bear young. Yeah. Are now werewolves close to immortal, though? Yes. Yes. So we are going to have, if you succeed, we are going to have immortal werewolves chasing dogs? Werewolf Nation. Nation W. <laughs> One nation under dogs? <laughs>
but there is no system to that seal. Oh, it's all system. We do need to sit, sat in some of the dramatic meetings I have sat. He's looking at me again. It's it's an in-joke. <laughs> <laughs> I was not aware that werewolves looked at anything beyond their nose. Not or more, if you need know about my system, you can look at previous empires I have ruled. You will find that there is order, and there is regular system of laws. It is one thing at which I excel. I will create a race of arcane inquisitors who will sniff out evildoers, as defined by me, and destroy them. <laughs> I will create a system of priests and judges who will make sure that everyone obeys and everyone does what is right and proper. I would like an elucidation of that, Lord Ruler. How would you define evil? Evil is those who break the law. Whose law? Mine! <laughs> yes, mine. Mines are deep shafts. <laughs> I think that my record stands the testament of my ability to create a structured and rule-based system. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, assuming, since the odds are two of the three of you will not attain the position of uh, of our time. What would your plan B be? I've heard of this land called Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I will go and I will raise up an army of these Texans. And I think they will be happy to have me hearing what I have heard of them. <laughs> and with what you have heard of them, would that not pose an eventual threat to Inlandia? Yes, of course. If I control Inlandia, then Texas will burn. <laughs> and if you control Texas? Inlandia will burn! <laughs> I thought about that. I'm very straightforward. <laughs> I will just go on making wonderful art for my adoring fans. There is no plan B. <laughs> <laughs> on the side there. Whose face, face will they, will each of you put upon the currency? Whose face do you think? Why, of course, it's the most beautiful face in the land. The big question would be deciding which of my various poses would make the best profile or picture for your currency. I've done this many times before, you can trust me. <laughs> I have a related question for the candidates. What is going to be the basis of this currency? I mean, there is gold, there is power, there is that vile substance, paper. But what is the basis of your currency? Advertising time on Holovision. <laughs> out and discover the mythical metal that controls this land, and I will take it all and use that as the basis and foundation of my power. That's called unobtainium. Unobtainium, yes, I've heard of this thing. <laughs> by the great despot, despot Cameron. <laughs> I will destroy him. <laughs> what would be the priority of those things which you think should be destroyed for the greater glory of Inlandia? You may begin, Osseo. Things that should be destroyed for the greater glory of Orlandia, you know, thanks. And um, shopping malls. And what else do I not like? Oh, Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> and what will you do with the evil demon Walton? <clears throat> I shall meet him. <laughs> Unless he tastes bad. And then I'll give him to my minions. What are your priorities for destruction of that which threatens Wanda? I would get rid of lawyers, priests, military people, politicians, of course. <laughs> I like
like that one not. One wonderful philosopher is enough to rule the land. Who would that philosopher be? <laughs> I did not, I was not aware you were a philosopher, not a man. Absolutely. Any actor is. Any actor is a philosopher. You have to develop, develop, delve deep into the human condition to understand uh, how, how things work. <laughs> I would destroy all clocks. I don't want people fixating on time passing. I want them simply to know that they are ruled and that they should do as I say. And then I also destroy her because she's really bothering me. <laughs> A plucky team, you have a plucky team. I think he dis discussed pluck earlier with great disgust. Plucky teams make great rules. Just say if we, if we choose you, what privileges will we enjoy? Oh, the oligarchs, they wish to know of what privileges they would obtain with your ascension. I see it. If you're beautiful, Immortal life, unless you in, unless you die in a terrible uh, werewolf fighting accident, like mm. most people do. <laughs> Lord ruler, you would each be made the leader of a grand noble house, where you can throw balls and parties and extravagance. You will be able to hold battles one to another, fighting for supremacy, destroying your enemies, and becoming great. Until I decide you're a threat, and then I will bury you in that pit in the backyard. <laughs> Free love, peace, everything you desire, the money coming from the very rich. They are the very rich. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Lord Protector? You don't need to go anywhere. <laughs> and Melody Lane. Moving streets, moving sidewalks, get rid of the buses, get rid of the smoke belching vehicles, the only thing with moving streets and sidewalks. I believe Melody Lane comes from the movies. <laughs> Another question from the oligarchs. We only have time for a few more. Uh, who is the greatest ancient general, Kirk or Picard? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest ancient general, Lord Ruler. Well, to understand this question, you have to understand that there's between tactics and strategy. Picard is a strategician. He knows great strategy. He can lead a battlefield, but Kirk knows tactics. I would put Kirk in charge of the small units. He would be our strike force. Picard can be the grand general who leads the battle, and together we will dominate. Do you not fear? With their greatness, they will usurp you. Kirk, maybe. We'll put him on the front lines. Eventually, he will fall. Picard likes order and structure. I can bring him to my side. Do you not fear Kirk's red shirts? Ah, Kirk's red shirts. That grand regiment of kamikaze. Yes. Yes, they are quite dangerous, but we'll turn them against the Canadians. And maybe the Texans. And I don't think we'll have to worry. What about the mountain people of the Coloradans? Oh, the Coloradans, yes, the Coloradans. I think they are already stoned. <laughs> Along with the spoken nights. They're smoked. I don't, I don't like either as general. I think they're both wishes. I prefer George Patton. A Patonian. Again, me. And I don't have any trouble with Coloradans. They are already my people. Will, will you, when you go to battle, will you rule from the front lines or will you sit in the back? Are you going to be a front line ruler or a back line ruler? 
A penny pincher or a bottom liner? Hmm. Melody Lane? I will remain as far away as possible, <laughs> spending as little as possible on war. Darling, when you have me in the army, you don't need anyone else. <laughs> Lord Ruler? I will rule from the back lines until there is a definite danger to my army. Whereupon, being immortal and indestructible, I will wade into battle, and I will cause agony, blood, destruction, and chaos upon my enemies. I start to like this one. <laughs> <laughs> the time has come for you, the oligarchs, to make a decision. We need last words. We must make last words. You have one minute each. Very well. Lord Protector. Very well. This one is an idiot. <laughs> I've changed my mind. This one will not be deleted. We will reprogram her. And then she will serve us. You do not want this one to rule you. This one is an idiot. This one is short-sighted. She has spunk. She has fire. He, that's right. He has spunk and fire. He will rule us well as a general. But he has no foresight. He has never created a system of government. He will serve me as you will serve me. I think that has been amply stated. <laughs> Asil? Last words are for people who are dying. <laughs> if I am killed, I will rise again. <laughs> the Phoenix. I will, you know, if you elect me, the world would be peaceful and joyful. On the other hand, if the big dude at the end of the table wins, you can program me anytime you want to. <laughs> I'm back to delete it. <laughs> now, you, the oligarchs, must decide. I will Mention each candidate, and those of you who approve of that candidate as your ruler will raise your hands. Only raise your hands for one candidate. The winner will receive the coin of power to become Archon of Inlandia. Is there a none of the above vote available? <laughs> That is not an option. <laughs> if you don't like any of them, you will be stuck with me. <laughs> Wait, we haven't heard your answers to any of these questions. I never get answers. <laughs> He's already in my pocket. <laughs> you told that could tell that from the beginning. All right, those of the oligarchs who fail to burn Melody Lane, signify your support. <laughs> one hand, one hand. <laughs> those of you who offer support for a seal. <laughs> and those of you who signify your support for Lord Ruler. I declare the winner is a seal.